As a penetration tester, you will be working with many files in Kali Linux. And it's important to know how to create, copy, rename, move, and delete files. So, let's start by creating a file. In fact, creating a file in Linux is simple. All you need is to use the touch command followed by the desired file name. For example, if you want to create a file called notes.txt, just type touch notes.txt. And just like that, the file notes.txt has been created. Next, let's talk about copying files. To copy a file in Linux, you'll use the cp command. In this example, we're going to copy the notes.txt file we just created to the tmp folder. A good practice is to use the tmp directory for testing files because they will be automatically deleted after a reboot. Now, let's move on to renaming files. To rename a file in Kali Linux, you will use the mv command. Let's rename the file notes.txt to mynotes.txt. Now, if I list the contents of the current directory, we can see the new file that we just renamed. The mv command is also used to move files from one directory to another. So, let's move the newly renamed file to the tmp directory. Finally, let's talk about deleting files. To delete a file in Kali Linux, you will use the rm command. Let's switch to the tmp folder and list its contents. Now, to delete the file notes.txt, we'll use the rm command. And let's say you want to delete a file permanently from the disk. In this case, it's better to use the shred command. This command will overwrite the file with random data making it unreadable even if someone steals the disk drive. Here's an example using the shred command with the tag F option to overwrite permissions and the minus N followed by the number 10 option to specify the number of times to overwrite the file contents. And that's it. These are the basic file management commands in Kali Linux. As a professional penetration tester, it's essential to be familiar with these commands so that you can manipulate files on target systems during a penetration test.